Hey there Moose fans, it is Super Bowl Sunday and I am here to finish up my review, uh, this is the part two, on the uh, craft holster inside the waistband for my Bursa uh, TPR9C. Okay, first, magazine is gone. No round in the chamber. Weapon is safe. Now I have been wearing this for two weeks now since I first got it. Um, I really love this holster. Uh, just to give you some idea, I mean, I wear it when I'm at work, and this is work right here, okay? Um, when I'm for, I have it on my hip for hours at a time sitting here at the desk chair. It feels good. It doesn't bite into me. Uh, driving wise, uh, in my Dodge Ram, it does pretty good. In the Toyota 4Runner, it actually does better uh, as far as comfort goes, and that's just the difference in the way the seats are made. Uh, I have worn this as concealed carry under both a uh, t-shirt on warmer days, you know, my big t-shirt so this one's much too tight fitting so I couldn't do that uh, or on the chilly days with uh, you know a t-shirt to protect my side from the grooves in the handle and then a flannel shirt just open loose over top of it does really well I have worn it into all kinds of different uh, establishments uh, Northern Tool, Home Depot, Lowe's, HEB grocery store, Walmart uh, no problems of any kind whatsoever. You know, nobody getting upset. Hey, you're carrying a pistol. And in Texas, we have both concealed carry as well as open carry. You know, I'm not an open carry fan at all and will not open carry. I don't believe in it. Uh, you know, concealed carry, you want to be at least respectful of people around you. You don't want to go scaring, uh, you know, kids or adults that are anti-gun. Everybody has to be a respectable gun owner. You know, everybody... Uh, if you watch my channel, you know I am a very progressive liberal, but I'm also a gun lover. Um, so you respect the laws, you respect the weapon, you respect the people around you. You do those things, you have no problem. Now, back to the holster. Um, you know, when I first pulled this out of the box and did the initial review, it was very tight getting the pistol in. Now, if you watch, it comes in goes out easily, so the leather has stretched. I didn't have to use that little leather stretch tool. Um, I had some concerns here with the clip uh, and it has gotten a little looser and I've, I've developed a mechanism uh, to be able to get it on and off with no problem um, I'll show you kind of what that is here in a minute uh, but, you know basically it's you know at least in my mindset if you're going to carry it inside the waist holster you're not putting it on taking it off putting it on taking it off all day long you put it on you leave it on for a while when you're done doing what you're doing you're back home you don't feel the need you take it off so that's my philosophy of use uh, overall you know the holster has held up it doesn't on the back side where you know if I'm not wearing a t-shirt tucked in or anything where it's just the leather on the skin it it feels good I mean it doesn't rub or chafe or irritate the skin so I like that there's been no breakdown of the stitching at all uh, so that that has worked very well all in all great holster okay Lone Moose fans I'm getting my smoker fired up uh, as you can see I'm still wearing the uh, craft holsters inside the waist holster for my Versa TPC 9 and uh, so far it's been two weeks it's going really well uh, I've worn it in a lot of situations this is just one uh, you know, while I'm getting things fired up and ready to go here on the smoker. So I just thought I'd show you that. And, you know, I'll give you a more detailed review of things here in a little bit. But, you know, it has done well over two weeks. The spring has loosened up a little bit. And I've learned a little trick on how to get it on. Now, basically, before I buckle up my pants, where I can get my hand over here, pull this apart. Uh, it'll loosen up more with time. But I do that, slide it over my belt and jeans, and it slip, snaps into place, and I can slide it back and forth where I need it to go. So it does really well. 
draw is good. I have not had to draw it for any of these two weeks and that's a good thing. But overall comfort has been really good. Um, so let me kind of show you what I have to go through to do this. It'll take me a minute to get the camera in the right position where I can show you. And the way I do this, and you know, it may freak some people out, and I'm sorry, but you know, it's not intended to be anything vulgar, or lewd, but essentially, I put the holster in place before I secure my pants. So I set it like this, pull the clip out, it goes out over my thick belt. And once it's in this position, I can move it wherever I need to. And then scare up the pants. And then I can adjust the holster. Now, I like to, in my first video, I like a little forward cant on mine. That's how I prefer it. And when I'm sitting or riding, that feels very good to me. Uh, so it, it's been a very good holster. Uh, very pleased with it. I want to thank Craft Holsters for sending it to me to review. Uh, you know, I uh, put the links down below to the, all their holsters, number one for the uh, Bursa, as well as their website in general. They're a good company, great folks. Uh, you know, they'll work with you. If you have, if you've got something you want, every holster is custom made. So you know, they may have a few things in stock, but you're going to get a high quality crafted holster that will last you a long time. And that's what I like. And of course, like I said before, I'm a leather guy. I like leather. Leather lasts a long time. So uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is a five stars. When I'm ready to get another holster for another one of my pistols, then I will definitely be looking these guys up. Like I said, they're good folks. Uh, I really enjoy working with them to get this holster, do the reviews, and I, you know, voluntarily submit my reviews to them, and they they can use them on their website, their advertising, whatever they want to do with them. Uh, you know, I don't get any financial uh, remuneration from them, and don't want any. I do this for fun. Now they did supply this holster for me to test and then I get to keep it. And I appreciate that. Um, but that's not why I buy the holsters from them. I like the product, plain and simple. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this. If you do, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, that's what keeps me motivated, making more videos. Uh, you know, the first review video of this has had quite a few re, uh, you know, people look at it over the last couple weeks. So hopefully this will do the same. Now, you know, when you look at it, if you like what you see, forward it to your friends. Leave me some comments on what you think might be uh, some improvements to this, because I know the guys at Craft Holster will watch this and see the comments as well. Um, so all in all, main thing for today, go Chiefs. Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I grew up in Kansas City. Uh, when they were in Super Bowls number one and four, I was in junior high and high school. It was great last year when they won. So I've got great hopes for today. So this is Lone Moose out, wishing everyone a happy uh, and safe Super Bowl Sunday. Y'all take care. I'll see you on the next video.